a very warm welcome to you if you're new. Particularly warm welcome. Today we cut off my hair. I probably can't overstate how nervous I'm feeling about something I've already done and know that it's fine, but it's been a long time since I donated my hair and I never believed that I would ever do it again. But then who saw the pandemic coming? I accidentally missed the hair cutting season because work was busy and I didn't prioritise it after lockdown one here in the UK. And so then I committed to growing it until I could then get it donated at a longer length that they were requesting on the Little Princess Trust website. Somebody from illness or whatever has happened, they will be able to have a good long lock of hair. I'm thrilled that that is made possible by the charity. I have an assortment of freezer bags that may well hold my hair once it's been cut off. You need to tie it at the top and bottom and in the middle so I have plenty of hair ties. This is what we have, is a wavy type. Goodbye hair. We are washed and curly. This is gonna be a work in progress. I need to officially try the curly girl method or the adaptive curly girl method that doesn't, there's a bit of a thing on the whole science thing. So we're just gonna park that. I'm gonna work on making these curls be a bit more of a thing, but this is them washed yesterday with loaded conditioner and having slept on it. So I love the new look. I'm very appreciative to not have that much hair lugging around my being. I'm really thankful because I can also donate this da -da -da, uh, to the Little Princess Trust. So you measure the longest one? Wow, okay, that's quite a bit of hair. So I appreciate it's kind of hard. I don't have two hands to hold this, but when it's straightened out, it does come down to 16 inches. I appreciate the ends are not wonderful. So uh, they aren't split, but they're just, these weren't conditioned, uh, as it says to either wash out the conditioner or kind of don't use conditioner. Um, but yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. We have 16 inches of hair, which is their preferred length of donation at the moment, because that means they can, when they've kind of sewn it into making a wig, that is a length that a lot of little children are after. Isn't this really weird? Just like, it's a body part, but it's mine. And it's not connected to my head anymore. Ah, oh, this is so strange. Um, they say if you have a uh, recyclable cardboard box to put it in that, um, for environmental reasons. I have my hair donation form, which you can either print off or you can fill it out uh, for basically a certificate and to tell them how long your hair is, uh, and that you've definitely washed and dried it, but I'd be nervous if I put it in a jiffy bag that, well, this one's reused, so therefore we've, we've, we've ticked one box. Um, but if it got wet on the way and then they can't use a hair, that would be utterly tragic. Uh, so I can fill in that that is 16 inches at the longest point. It's not all gonna be that long. Um, how many centimeters is that? That's the question. 41 centimeters. Wow. Yikes. So I have my hair donation form, cheeky bag, hair in this. <laughs> it's so weird. I will check the final list of requirements to make sure we haven't forgotten anything before this goes off. Excellent condition, well, it's been looked after, it's not been overly straightened, curled. Uh, encourage all of our growers to keep at least growing until 12 inches, but minimum length I believe at the moment is 7 inches. Um, but if they have loads and they have to then pay for storage for longer amounts of hair that can only then be made shorter. So let's see how long we can grow it. Uh, clean dry hair, uh, da da da, no split ends. They aren't split end because I trimmed them during lockdown. It's just quite squaggly. Uh, wavy or curly. Uh, curly hair must meet requirements while measured in its naturally curly form. I don't think I overly yanked it down to measure it. Permanently dyed. If the dye is of a natural colour, an overall condition of the hair is good. Or highlighted bleached dyed hair. So that is good if that is you. Ponytail cut a maximum of five years ago. Preserved, pre pre preserved and in a good condition. And they can accept hair outside of the UK. 
but you can click a link to find out more if that's you and you think you're doing it. So I'm really encouraged uh, that I've been able to do this again. I never believed that I would. It's been a whole journey because that was like me starting to make videos, then ending up as a radio breakfast presenter and production for BBC Songs Break. Kind of has been like come full circle and here we are. Anyway, I'm just having my own little moment. You've joined me for whatever this has been. Um, thank you so much. Uh, what a joy to be able to share this journey. I hope if you cut off a large quantity of hair, I would love to see pictures. I'm sure the Little Princess Trust would love to see pictures. And if you like more details, I will drop everything I can find in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to see more like travel, lifestyle, life in London, then please do subscribe, press the notification bell. It would be good to see you in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye!